Every year, 93 million CT scans are performed in the U.S. More than half are for people 60 and older, but now new research shows that some scans may be exposing patients to too much radiation. Joining us now is our medical expert, Dr. Paul Coley, uh, to kind of weigh in on this. What new research is showing about the radiation connected to the CT scans? You know, it's crazy. As a physician, I never ever thought that there was such a variation, but if you go from one facility to another, there can be a 10 to 15 fold variation in the radiation that you're getting from the exact same type of CT scan. So you come in with you know, abdominal pain, you get an abdominal pelvic CT, it can be much higher radiation at one office as compared to the other. And it's not mm -hmm. something that we're really tracking systematically. And we know that radiation from CT scans is actually responsible for 2% of all cancers. And every time you get a CT scan, you have a one in a thousand to one in 2000 chance of actually developing a cancer from that scan. Do we know why it's so different? Is it machine to machine? Is it the way they're operated? Yeah, it's a lot of different factors, Tom. So some are machine factors, as you said. So older machines, think about it like a camera. You're a photographer, right? So you keep the shutter open longer mm -hmm. because it's an older machine. Yeah, so the radiation penetrates more. You're a heavier person. You need more radiation to penetrate your tissues. You also scatter the radiation more. So people who are heavier get a higher effective dose of exposure, certain types of protocols. And then how the facility decides, because it may be easier for them to just crank up the volume on the radiation, get it done, get it done faster rather than doing it in a way that's better better for the patients. Well, this sounds a bit concerning to me. My eight month old had a CT scan when, you know, we had a scare in a hospital, but when you look at it being used on children, I mean, do you think that like regulations and things could change because of this data? Well, and this is what prompted this study. So earlier this year in January, there's a now a new regulation that CMS, the Center for Medicare, Medic Medicare Services, now requires facilities to really standardize what they're doing. But here's the kicker. It's not gonna start giving them financial penalties till 2027 or longer. And this really means that they can still do whatever they want, but they might just not make as much money if they don't comply with it. And to, again, given how many CT scans we might get in the course of our life, lifespan, this is significant. And Alex, for a young child, they're developing. Their tissues and their cells and everything are dividing. When you radiate a cell, you cause DNA damage to it. And you know they, they need to heal that. The CT scans are valuable. They're, they're tremendous as far as the information they give us. The CT scan, in effect, has replaced or, or uh, done far better, more important work than the X-ray did. Is there a next technology that may be radiation-free that, that might be on the horizon? Yeah, so we're working on those. Obviously, MRIs are radiation-free, ultrasounds are radiation-free, X-rays a lot less radiation than a CT scan. There's even a new protocol called low-dose CT, low-radiation-dose CT. These are lung cancer screening protocols. We screen people with very little radiation. So we need to do more work on this. But to your point, Tom, the take-home message is not don't get a CT scan because it's a tremendous tool. It's, in fact, replaced the physician as a bedside examiner because it's so much more accurate. The take-home message is be mindful of how much radiation you're getting. There's actually a dose that's measured of the radiation in millisieverts. Keep track of it over the course of your life because if you're going to one facility or another, your doctor may not even know how much you're getting. And just make sure you talk to the technician who's doing the scan to see if you can minimize the dose. The value of and the use of why would you not get an MRI as opposed to a CT scan? Is it more expensive? Is it not the same type of testing? Very different. So CT scan shoots x-rays in there and an MRI uses a magnet to create a polarization in your tissue so it can only image a much smaller field and it's a you know it's really good for soft tissue CT scans are really good for organs and bones so they have different uses you can't always replace one for the other but in the course of your life if you're getting several dozen CT scans every time you have a tummy ache that really starts to add up something people need to consider certainly Definitely. ask questions about Dr. Coley it's always good to see you thanks for coming in of course you can find more with Dr. Coley at 9news.com slash Dr. Coley